Hey guys, it's me, Ola, and this is another episode of Blakebury News. A lot of things happened, so let's dive right in. So last week a video was published by Jerry Rick Everything. He's a channel where he abuses phones and tech products, so he tests how far he can push a phone by beating it up with a lighter or a scratch tool and everything else. So he tests the screen durability by scratching it, all the frame, the aluminum frame, the plastic body and so on. So he did that with the Key One last week and for many it didn't fare so well. So yeah, the screen was fine, it was just like all the other phones, the body was fine. Of course the, the back part of the Big Brick Key One was scratching because it's a rubberized material. But those are all things you expect, it has a glass cap on the camera and the front, so it actually has a pretty good quality. But the bad thing happened when he tried to bend it. Because the phone totally broke apart because the screen popped off and that meant for the body to break. And that of course isn't great. Uh, it still worked when he bent it this way but when he turned it around to push it the other way it totally stopped working. So that is not a good thing. And the reason for it, at least according to Jerry Rick Everything, is that there's no glue, absolutely no glue behind the screen to hold it in place. But Crackberry did its research and they tried it themselves. They have so many like three key ones to test it with and they threw it around. They threw it on the ground, on the wall and everything. They even drove off with a Tesla and several smartphones on the top of it to test its durability. And I can even say for myself, the BlackBerry Key One is a very, very durable and very, very well made phone. I dropped it myself, yes, I have to admit it, around this height, like head height, on, very, on a very hard tile floor. And it fell and it sounded terrible and I thought the phone was completely shattered. But there's absolutely nothing on the phone, there's no scratch at all and it is still intact just like it was before. So in my opinion, this phone is a tank. And as I said, Gregory did its research as well. They threw it at the wall, they threw it on the ground and with normal beating, nothing happened. The screen didn't put off. It only went off when they threw it at the wall and then the screen popped off. And of course, that is not a good thing. But Gregory said that there is actually a clue behind the screen to hold it in place. There's like a small strip around the screen it just seems it isn't enough and actually BlackBerry or BlackBerry Mobile immediately sent out a press release that they will fix this issue, that they will look into it and strengthen the device. So that is great customer support. They responded very quickly and they do something about the problems, which is a good thing. Um, even though it isn't such a big problem. So I think it is not a problem at all. It should not put you off from buying the key one because it, in my opinion, it is a tank, it's so well made. If you just compare it to the BlackBerry Priv, it's an absolute step up from the BlackBerry Priv because this is just a tank, as I said. So it shouldn't put you off. Read the Crackberry article about it, so if you want to know more information about it. But I'll also link the video by Jerry Rick Everything in the description box below if you're interested. So let's continue with the second topic, and it is that BlackBerry might have an update problem. So what does that mean? When they first released their first Android device, which was the BlackBerry Priv, they said that there will be monthly safety patches or safety updates to keep the level of the safest Android phone on the market. And they also said that with the Detect devices or the BlackBerry Key 1. But it doesn't seem like they're able to hold that promise. We all know that BlackBerry isn't really good at keeping promises. We all know what happened when they tried to update their BlackBerry 10 devices from 10.3.2 to 10.3.3 because they said it would be months before it actually happened. Uh, so that was really nice. And now if they cannot keep those promises with monthly safety updates, that would be terrible because many buy those Android devices just for that, that they have a safe device and if it doesn't really is if it isn't really safe anymore, that wouldn't be so great, would it? Because the EMEA, I have to look that up, I'm sorry, Managing Director Francois Mailleux said that they try to keep up the updates, but they, he didn't say they will. Because in my opinion, the software business isn't just about creating good hardware, it's also about keeping the software up to date. And with the key one, it's on Android 7 Nougat, 
it's very secure, it still has the latest safety updates. But it, it's already like the DTEC devices and the BlackBerry Proof get it later and later. And it seems like it's just not as it was before and that is not good. Especially for a BlackBerry because they advertise it as the safest Android phone on the market. And I was just talking about Android 7 Nougat. The key one has it, but still the BlackBerry Proof and the DTEC devices don't have it. And BlackBerry said it will come to those devices when the key one will be released. But did it happen? No, it didn't. And now it's not really safe anymore if it will actually happen. And that is just not a good thing. So this is my discussion topic for this video. Just leave a comment in the comment section below on what you think about this topic. Maybe you know some more information about it. Will there be any updates? What will happen in the future? Because it just is a very vague thing and it just shouldn't be in my opinion. But let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So that's it with this month episode of BlackBerry News. If you liked it, make sure you press the like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to stay updated with new videos. Also make sure to leave a comment. As I said, follow me on my social media channels, Instagram and Twitter. And my BlackBerry Messenger channel pin is in the description box below. See you in my next video. Until then, bye.